Good afternoon, Soul and Betty, my tribe. Bridget Patton here with Soul Massages. I got Ellie and Merrick here for a video. So this morning I wanted to talk about crying. It's something that a lot of clients get on the phone with me or, you know, I start to do a session with them and they actually apologize for crying. They apologize for crying, they say that they're sorry, and all of this vulnerability starts surfacing. And the truth is our tears are a way for us to be able to cleanse our bodies. Whether we're crying because we have joy and happiness or we're crying because we're moving pain and toxins out of our bodies, tears are so beneficial in the spiritual growth process. And so if you're noticing that you're having a hard time you know, conjuring up tears or being able to release in the form of tears, that's one of our ways that we can move energy, just like yawning and sneezing and coughing and all kinds of things. All of those ways are innate. It's an innate way for us to move and clear energy. And so one of the things that I do with people is I create that sacred safe space of energy and boundaries so that those tears can come through because the truth is those tears are like gold. Tears are like gold. Being able to cry and release and move energy is so powerful. It's a way for us to expand. It's a way for us to release pressure. And when we are not able to cry, it's actually preventing us from growing. It's preventing us from expressing ourselves. And there's a lot of judgment and expectations around tears. And I think it's really interesting because one of the first signs of life when a baby is born is that the baby cries. The baby cries and that's how we know the lungs are strong. That's how we know the baby is alive. And it's no different with us as, as adults. We don't stop having those coping mechanisms, what we do is we shut them down because somebody shames us or somebody else is really uncomfortable with those tears. And so, you know, we don't want people to think that we're crazy. We don't want people to think that we're weak. We don't want people to think X, Y, Z. And so what happens is we start to shut down. We shut down our ability to move and release that energy. And so my invitation to you guys is, if this is something that you have an issue with, reach out to me so that you can have that breakthrough and we can figure out where that belief system is within you that has prevented you from being able to move energy naturally. And if that's one of the things that you're doing, that's a good sign to me that there's other defensive mechanisms within you that are preventing you from moving that energy naturally. And at some point, that tension is going to come out somewhere. If it's not coming out through your tears or in some other way, shape, or form, it's going to blow up somewhere. Or it's going to come in the form of some sort of external chaos that will create an opportunity for that tension to be released. So if this is something you're experiencing, that means it's a good time to reach out to me so that you can move through this energy now sooner than later. So I hope that this message really brings some awareness to what's going on in your world. And I will see you in the next video. I love you. Mwah.